Why having that? It's peaceful Canadians here that are here to celebrate our country. And you need to pass through that uh, a checkpoint in Canada. It's a shame. Hey everyone, William does here, Rebel News. So throughout the Canada weekend, we've seen unbelievable things happen. We've seen a guy ride free to Merrill Leash on the street, on Wellington Street, with chalk and cornstarch being given a thousand dollar fine by the by the Ottawa police. We've seen airport security style just to enter Parliament Hill, just to enter Parliamentary Precinct. Unbelievable stuff, folks. But any in any regard, I had the chance of speaking with the leader and the founder of the People's Party of Canada, Maxim Bernier, to let him give us his take on the state of Canada and the state of democracy in today's country. Here's how that went. Yesterday, did you hear what happened at the, the war memorial? I saw uh, some videos of it. I was not there. Uh, I don't know all the details uh, of that event, so I cannot comment. But what I don't like today, it's what I'm seeing right now here. Look, it's all intimidation, and uh, we don't need that. I don't recognize my country anymore. Why having that? It's peaceful Canadians here that are here to celebrate our country, and you need to pass through that. Uh, a checkpoint in Canada, it's a shame. Yeah, uh, 100%. And if you look at the ground right here, it is written free to Merrill Leash on the ground. Yeah. The person that wrote that in a erasable chalkboard yeah. uh, got fined by the police more than $1,000. What do you think that says about the state of our democracy? A lot, a lot. You know, We must, in a democracy, in a free country, you must be able to have debates, to have art, to Re to be respectful uh, of people who had other opinions than, than your, but that's not happening right now. When you don't say what these authoritarian uh, politicians want, you've been cancelled um, and segregated like Trudeau did. You know, I wasn't able to travel across the country because I'm not vaccinated. So uh, all that must end. And I can tell you, if they are imposing more mandates next fall or next winter. I won't follow that, and I'm, I'm saying that right now. We must not, we as a country and Canadian, must not follow these unscientific orders and uh, not based on science. I don't know what will happen, but they try to um, impose their point of view on us and enough is enough like they're doing right now here so it's a shame and, and you, you talk about the mandates the vaccine mandates most vaccine mandates have been lifted the, the mandates for the planes have been lifted most people are going to say that's a huge victory and maybe you're going to give less efforts in the freedom movement do you agree with that do you think that's bad or that's positive what, what do you make of that well, I, I agree that it, it is a victory uh, maybe a little victory uh, because it's it's lifted temporary they suspended that so that means that it may come back and that's why we must be vigilant and we must do that fight and speak about what we believe to our friends to our co-workers to our family and telling them that we must not live in a party like in a, in a country like that so no I, I will do that battle again next fall and if that happened but i believe that i won't be alone and a lot of people will come with us under the the freedom umbrella well, one final thing, super quick. I always see you wearing uh, colorful shirts and really extravagant shirts. Do you feel that's going to attract more people to your party? Is that a political strategy from you? No, you know, it's my, it's my own choice and I like it. Maybe it's like my politics, you know, you like it or you're, you don't like it. You like my shirt or you don't like it. <laughs> I'm sure David Menzies would like that. Very stylish. Thank you so much. Have a good day. So to make sure to stay updated with everything that happens here on Canada Day and in the Canada Day weekend, myself and Devin Menzies were sent by Rebel News in Ottawa. We'll make sure to film all the action that occurs. In order to stay updated, please head on to ottawareports.com and look at all our footage there.